Hey friends, so I am finally here with the house tour. I'm super excited. I'm gonna just kind of go through it. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some videos that are of the house when it was empty, different rooms and stuff. And then I'm gonna show you guys like some upgrades that we did when we moved in. And then I'm gonna show you some videos of after. Uh, do you hear the rooster? Yes, we have chickens, we have roosters now. I have so much to tell you guys. So I think that I should tell you guys before I show y'all that I am definitely not done decorating. That I believe was kind of another reason why I was stalling on putting out the video because a lot of our space is still very empty and I thought, well, I wanna get the house all together, but I'm just not gonna do that because I wanna be decorating the house and taking my time. Right now I have zero desire to do anything pertaining to the inside of the house because we're working on stuff with the outside of the house. We are getting our solar panels up. We um, are starting our, our seeds so we can start our garden in the spring. We have chickens. Oh my goodness, do we have chickens. So we have a lot of other things going on that is kind of taking priority over what color wall I'm gonna paint the living room. You know what I mean? So, or if I'm gonna find the perfect decoration to go on the wall in the foyer because I have not found it yet. And so it's still blank. It just is what it is. And this is our forever home and I'll just take time getting there. But like I said, right now it is far more important for me, for us to be doing the things that we're doing outside. So let me just show you guys the house. So I kind of just thought I would start with showing you guys the pantry. So the pantry is a four by four closet and it had the wire racks in it. Well, my husband and my father-in-law and our youngest son went in and pulled all the wire racks out of this four by four pantry and built me a mini butler's pantry. They built some bottom shelves, which has shelves and baskets in them now. And then they built these wooden shelves that go all the way up to nine feet. And then my husband added three electrical outlets, which is so awesome because now I have my mixer and like the toaster and my blender plugged in in there. And he also added these lights and they did a phenomenal job. I also had a different vision for our dining room. If you watched the other videos and you saw that we had the brick archways installed. And so this is what it looked like after we closed on the house. The first thing I wanted to do was replace that chandelier with something more full to give it a more grand look. And then the guys created the wainscoting look that I was looking for. The room was painted and then we started to add the little finishing touches. And then of course I had to have some more ideas, but in the end it went from this to this. And you guys, I am in love with this dining room. They really did a great job. I am so thankful that my husband, Jeremy, my father-in-law, Scott, and our youngest son, Jaden, worked so hard to change and transform this room into this beautiful masterpiece. The 
<laughs> bless this food. Thank you for everything you've done. We're truly blessed and we really appreciate it. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Okay, so this is the living room. Um, this wall here, it is boring me to my core. I have to do something with it. I would like to paint the whole wall like I did in my other house um, as kind of like an accent wall, but the problem is the door there. So I don't know, should I paint it a darker color, like a dark gray or a slate or a textured wall and just cut it off right there at the door? Or should I do some sort of like 3D fireplace mantle thing going all the way up? I don't know, something's gotta be done with it and not just photos because that is the part that makes everything just look plain. And yes, I need to get some stuff for the entryway, just not big on my list. If I don't do something with this wall soon, I'm getting a different couch because the couch is just too white and it's too washed out. Now I ended up getting these two chairs here <laughs> and I need some good plants to go behind it and stuff, but I ended up getting these two chairs here. So when the grandmas come over, they can get in and out of them very easily. They can use the hand rest to pull themselves up and they also lean back and the little foot thing comes out so they can prop their legs up. So um, I got the chairs specifically for the grandmas slash great grandmas. And then this is where I'm at with the dining room. This is a smaller room, so it's one of the ones that looks closer to being done. Uh, yeah, it's just an olive tree over there. Table and chairs, I believe they're all linked on my light to know it. But I've been collecting what is it called? Antique trinkets. And I have absolutely just loved it so far. I mean, I don't have a lot, but I've got some things and I'll show you what they are. Okay, so the first thing is I went to like this secondhand store where I'm telling you guys this place that I go to it. And is my voice echoey on here? I hope it's not. But this place that I have been going to, um, to me, it looks like people clean out their grandparents' garages, like maybe they pass away and they clean out everything and they take it to this antique shop and maybe sell stuff there or whatever, because it's all a bunch of random stuff. And I found this old pipe there. And I mean, you can even see that it's been chewed on, on the end by somebody. And it even has like a little bit of tobacco in it. And it smells like tobacco in there and I just think it's so cool because we're just we're in the day of technology and people just don't use this type of thing anymore and it's random I've never like used one of these but I don't know I just liked it and then of course I like a little egg beater an old school one everything's powered by electricity now and I ordered this this I did not get as an antique trinket but I really liked it it's a compass and it looks like it's antique and it has a cross on it. You know, because Jesus is my compass type of thing. I really like it. It looks cool. And then one of my favorite things, should I wait last? No, I'll go ahead and tell you. Is this right here? So this is something that people used to use back in the day to carry water. So let me show you. So they would put this on their shoulders and they put like five gallon buckets or whatever it is and carry water or whatever. And I bought this from an antique shop and I had it for like a year waiting to like move in here, waiting for the house to be done. And I just wanted to keep it. And I thought it was really, really cool. I mean, it's a real piece of wood. Well, after I had it for a while, I was showing somebody and this paper came came down. So the paper was, I think, probably rolled up inside of here because I never seen it until literally like eight months after I had it. But on the paper, somebody wrote this. They wrote, this belonged to Granddad Hall, Eugene H. Um, he toted water from spring quarter mile away. So that, so this, he, somebody's granddad, granddad Hall would use this to tote water 
a quarter mile away. And I'm and I just like I'm keeping this on here too. I absolutely love it. This side, <laughs> I got this copper pot, and I did not wash it. It's secondhand from an antique store. I didn't want anything washed. And this copper tea kettle, and then potato masher. So that's what I have in here. I want to put some lights in this um, and then get more stuff, but I don't want to buy stuff just for the sake of buying it. So me and Jeremy go to different antique stores or secondhand stores probably twice a month. Man, we went to like six of them last week. Was it last week or the week before? Because I'm looking for a specific pot an heirloom pot, something that they do not make anymore, that is cookware, and we went all over the place. We did not find the pot, but the point is we go a couple times a month, and if I find something that I wanna have and put in there, then great, and if I don't, then it's totally fine too. So, a couple more things. I got this washboard. Does anybody remember this? And who knows what this is? I'm sure some of y'all do. This is a old school butter churner. So yeah, just like little things. <laughs> okay, so I went and got my mic. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. So right now I am cooking a pot of what people would call pork and beans. Um, this is beans with ham hocks in them. They're gonna cook all day long and then I'll serve them over rice and I'll make some cornbread. I'm not a big pork eater and I actually quit eating pork altogether for a while. However, man, it's just something about ham hock or, you know, ham in beans. It really brings the flavor to another level. That's what I am making. And let me show you guys this part of my kitchen, if I have not showed y'all this already. This is a, what's it called? Why am I drawing a blank? Anyways, it's water, okay? So I do like this, and if I turn this right here, this puts water in a pot. So if I'm making uh, spaghetti or something, then I can just get my water from here. I'll be honest with you guys, nine times out of 10, I forget to use it. I just go to the sink and I come back. You know, they say like old habits die hard. Yeah, they do die hard. And this is my gas stove, which this is my first time having a gas stove. And let me tell you, it is a game changer. I would never want to have an electric stove again if I ever had to choose. So just saying, like the gas stove is next level. Where have you been all my life? This is the refrigerator drawer. And yes, I do use this. I use this every day. I love it. Down here is the other refrigerator drawer, but we just have waters in here. We have a couple like cheer wines. You know, like if you have special a special moment or you know whatever, then you can just pull out your, you know, your celebratory drink. This is not a drink that we would just drink every day, but it's more like, you know, we're something something good's happening. This is a root beer. This is the before view of me and Jeremy's bedroom, but is also known as like the master bedroom. There's still a lot to do in this room, but like I said, piece by piece, we will get there. But for now, I love what they did with this wall. This was the master bathroom before the mirror went up and before the guys switched out the lighting fixtures for me. All of these are linked in my like to know it, by the way, if you guys want to know where they're at. and as well as just really updated everything to the way that I wanted it.
And then there's the master closet. This chandelier, by the way, is linked to my light to know it. I also have these closet kits installed and I do share this closet with my husband, but it turned out beautiful and I really do love it. And this is also the only room in the house that has carpet. Oh, I gotta show you guys something else. So I've showed y'all the dining room, but let me show you this. And this is part of the ring doorbell. I'm telling you guys, I did not clean this house anything special to do this tour because I know I'm never gonna do it if I keep saying, oh, I gotta do this first. So here we go. Let me show you guys what I made. So this is at my front door and this, dun, 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 dun. we don't wear shoes in the house. And this little basket right here has depending on what a person wants. So if you come into my house and you are a person that does not want to take off your shoes, maybe you don't have socks on, maybe you feel, you know how when you're in somebody else's house, you don't want to be like barefooted walking around their house, you don't know them, that's kind of like an intimate thing. I got you, I got you, don't worry about that. What would you like? Do you want socks with the little grippies on them? How about, do you want to keep your shoes on? You can keep your shoes on, but you do need to put shoe covers on. So did you want some shoe covers? They got the little grippies on them, you're good to go. And if you don't want to wear either one of those, well, I got you two because these are disposable house slippers. So you know what? We got you covered every which way. So this is what this little basket is for here. If we have construction workers coming in, they usually just put the little shoe covers on and family members, they just take their shoes off or they bring their slippers with them. But I got you covered if you don't. So yeah, welcome to our home. This is the front bedroom. So if you guys see the dining room, front bedroom. So you would come in the front door, the dining room. There's the guest bath, but okay, front bedroom. And this is basically just the cat room. This is a Murphy bed. So when we have like Jordan or guest or whatever, but otherwise this is just an extra bedroom. And in the closet is the cat's litter box. He has a uh, litter robot highly 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 recommend if you guys want a full review let me know we've been using ours for about three years now so love it and he likes to sit up here in his little bed and watch the birds or the squirrels or any bugs it is winter time so everything's dead looking but yeah out of there this is the first guest bathroom I have not done much at all with decorating. <laughs> the shower curtain and some rugs is about as far as I've gotten. And this is the countertop. This is the same stone that we put in our kitchen at our other house. It is called Silver Bianca. It is a quartz and I love it. It's kind of a, it, well, it's a gray. It's a gray and an off-white. It is so beautiful. Love it so much. And there's me, hi. Um, okay, and this is the stone for the guest bathrooms. Well, the guest bathroom and Jaden's bathroom. And there's another light in here, which looks super pretty when I turn the main one off. See, right there. Jeremy picked this out. It looks kind of like a mermaid. It goes all the way up. So pretty. Okay, and then here is the second guest bedroom. I just opened this door and the cat ran under the bed, but it's just a bed. <laughs> this is um, the pots and pans set that I got my mother-in-law for Christmas. Love them. She left them over here that away. Um, she can put them in her new place when they move out here. They should be out here later this year. And so just some touch lamps and this, I had a TV on this but I ended up moving it to a different place. But this is the picture of our first home that we bought. And I wanna put it somewhere in the house, just kind of like as a reminder, like this was our very first home. And yeah, I love that home. And it, we had a lot of great memories made there and we loved our neighbors and I just never wanna forget. So I have that photo. The closet is really nice and big, but we just use this as storage right now. As you guys see, it's a lot of like 
air mattresses, blankets, extra pillows, another air mattress, stuff like that. So when we have company, we have air mattresses all over the floor and kids and teenagers sleeping everywhere and everybody's got a little place to sleep. Grandma Lee usually sleeps in here. So like I said, I haven't done any real decorating. This is just it, but it's ours and we love it. And this is what Jaden's bedroom looks like. Now, before I end this video, do y'all remember the video that I did showing y'all the back porch and me basically saying how the vinyl siding on the roof of the back porch was just not the vision that I had? Well, it worked out where we got to get the tongue and groove back porch ceiling that we dreamed of. And you guys, it is stunning. Look at the difference. It looks so beautiful. It is giving Randall Ranch. I love it. There's not a second that I walk out on that back porch that I do not just love the way that it looks. We spend so much time out there. We cook out there, we eat out there, we sit out there, we watch the rain out there, we watch the chickens, the deer. The back porch is just such a beautiful place and getting the tongue and groove ceiling really made it all come together. Thank you all so much for watching this video and following me along on this journey. I cannot wait to read the comments to see what y'all say. I am totally open to any tips that y'all have. A lot of the products that y'all see in this video, again, are linked in my light to know it if you want to find them. Other than that, I love y'all. Thank you again, and I will see y'all in the next video.